What's up everyone, this is Ryuki here, and today I'm going to be unboxing Zone and the Enders HD Collection Limited Edition. And this is the US Limited Edition. I don't, I'm not sure if there was like different versions of this limited edition at the time. Um, this came out like a, a while ago. So when this was reservable, I picked it up and yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't do extensive research to figure out if anybody else had different collector's editions than, uh, well, at least different regions, because usually Japan will have their own that may come with like a statue, etc. So, besides that, the reason why I'm unboxing um, Zony in this HD collection is because outside of YouTube, I have a few friends that ask me if such a thing existed because they just had a hard time believing that they released a limited edition for the PS3 and um, I say yes they did obviously I have it <laughs> so either I mean they're not really hardcore gamers but they like Zone the Enders um, they and they just weren't even they just wasn't sure if such a thing existed so pretty much I'm doing this video also to show that hey it existed and I'm doing an unboxing so they could see what's inside most likely they'll be watching this somewhere or sometime later <laughs> I would imagine anyway Nonetheless, yeah, I, I also figured why not unbox this again and see what's show you guys what's inside. So technically this is like a re-unboxing, but at the same time it's it's pretty nice just unboxing. Nonetheless, it's it's unboxing, so it doesn't matter. In my opinion anyway. So as usual, we're gonna take a look around the whole package from top to bottom, left and right, and then uh after that take a look what's inside I also want to point out that um this is a slider so it doesn't like open up it's similar to the Tekken hybrid where you just kind of slide off um the slider and yeah okay here we go the front the left the right the back top bottom so most sliders are a pain to remove but this one was easy as you can see a slider so we'll put that aside and show you what's in the inside so it comes with an art book a soundtrack and obviously the game so i'll take this all apart and as usual in order well my order anyway <laughs> show you the art book game then soundtrack so this is the art book similar to the um cover of well the slider to zone the enders hd uh, well at least what you just saw not that long ago it's the same art for all the you know about the logo and then that pretty much the company like konami and all that it's, it's the same thing just about that and the slider is also hollow foil and this is about the same and if we take a look around this as you can see there's nothing on the size of angels on the enders but in the back same as the back of the slider so besides that take a look inside so you see some of the art so as you can see it says on the enders and then it shows on the left here that's a pretty good art right there jedity the main character from the first game with the girl Official illustrations. It shows you different art, pretty much. I'm assuming they're from different artists, but don't hold me on that. Um, but that's just me assuming, because some of the art here looks different from one another, so I can't tell. But uh, nonetheless, it's really good art. Obviously, in anime form or in style. So. You have. The orbital frame, obviously. Get a T. Frame that has a mind of his own. Anubis. Can't forget this one. So yeah, it's just mainly a lot, a lot of art, <laughs> a lot of art. Um, yeah. And it's blurred out, so yeah, this, they weren't. So yes, you get a little bit of everything in this book, apparently. 
Um, I never sat there and actually looked at the book all the way through, so I was a little bit surprised by that. But now knowing that, it's, it's, it's funny <laughs> to me anyway. Um, so yeah, that's the art book for uh, Zone the Enders HD. So let's move on to the game now. So this is the game. Um, I don't think it's any different from the regular retail version, actually. I think they were both the same in cover and all that. I don't think there was much of a difference. Uh, it would have been nice though if Konami or the person that was behind the idea of the Slim Edition to make even the cover of this game, um, the cover of the art book or the slider, it, it just made, it would have made sense. A hollow folio cover that says only a GT collection, it just it would have made a lot of sense, but they didn't do that that way. And it probably would have been overkill because it would have been a hollow folio, this hollow folio, that hollow folio game. But it would have still been cool. <laughs> Nonetheless, anyway, this includes the demo Metal Gear Rising the time it wasn't released so they're trying to push out there and say hey look try it you know you get this you get the chance to play the demo of course says down the side and back here and yeah just advertises all new all new excuse me animated opening oh well, all new anime openings and also and then it tells you it includes the demo and then high speed mech action etc so that's that's just the base stuff. Um, you open this up, let you know that the demo's included, like, like if you already don't know the first couple times. It comes with this manual, which is a pretty short manual. Um, just telling you the controls, black and white pages. If you're wondering what the back of the manual is, it's similar to the CD cover. So that's it for the game. Now let's get to the CD. So this is Zone the Enders Remix Selection, as it's being called, because that's what it says, their selection. Anyway, what they did was they um, took the tracks, remixed it, and that's about it. I actually like a few of these tracks in here, uh, especially Beyond Bonds, Beyond the Bonds, excuse me. They remixed this one. It's a really good remix. I, I like it anyway, so yeah. And there's about eight tracks, all remixed from mixing between one and two of the game. So it's kind of a give and take. They, they took certain tracks and just remixed the ones I guess they were comfortable with. Besides that, um, yeah, it, this is open though because I actually played the track. So yeah. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pause this and remove the CD because it's, it's a little tricky removing out this uh, slider case thing here. So, quick second. All right. So the CD, or at least the color scheme of it, um, is similar to the hollow foil slider in the art book. It's pretty nice. Um, and that's it. I also want to clear something because I've been, there's been so much, uh, seems like misinformation about this. I don't know if that's because people don't like selling the enders or what, for what I read up around to interwebs and so on. This is not a Blu-ray disc. For some reason, people are going out there trolling, saying this is a Blu-ray disc, the CD, and uh, I, I don't know where the hell that came from, but uh, at least in the US limited edition, this is not a Blu-ray disc. This is a regular CD disc. So I don't know where that came from, but um, I'm repeating myself, but yeah, this is not a Blu-ray disc. I repeat, it's not a Blu-ray disc. It's just a regular CD. That's about it. Um, and to show that, as you can see, it is a regular CD. So yeah, that's about it. So besides that, yeah, I, I just don't see why anyone would uh, go out there and say that. <laughs> but I don't know if the other limited editions out there, if Europe had their own or if Japan clearly had their own uh, limited edition, which I'm pretty sure it's theirs was pretty different. Um, if theirs were Blu-ray discs, but I know in the US one, he didn't get a Blu-ray disc. So I just wanted to address that and clear that up. So besides that, um, there's one more thing I gotta show, not that it's of any importance to this, but it's just to show that, hey, there's nothing else in this collector's edition besides these three main items. So let's get right to that. 
So as you can see, this is a empty box. This is where pretty much all the content is at. Well, at least here anyway, this is where the CDs at, then the game, then the books over all this. Um, this is just to show that there is nothing else in here after, as you can see, nothing else in here after. So this is how it look when it's, yeah, show that. So besides that, this, and this is the paper that they stick on the back when uh, you pick, well, when this was picked up anyway, because this was obviously was sealed in that tight plastic and this was on the back of the slider kind of stuck there with that glue that doesn't mess up the package but it's just there to hold it and uh as well as this part this little part was in the front advertising metal gear rising that was included and it's just telling you what's in the limited edition etc so that's pretty much it on that front so that's it for zone the enders hd limited edition collection etc uh, anyway yeah that's it for that uh, and you've seen everything that was in here pretty much the art book game soundtrack pretty much it for that um it's a cool collector's edition i mean if you like zone the enders then you're most likely are going to pick this up at the time anyway because this came out so long ago so I have no idea what the value of this now on the interweb is or how much people are trying to sell this for, but uh, yeah. I, well, obviously I pre-ordered it and picked it when it came out. And this is technically my first, um, well, no, is my first time playing Zone the Others. Anyway, in the HD collection, it was my first time playing it and I enjoyed it. I, I really liked the Zone the Others one and two, um, especially with the animations and all that, it was really good. Though it left cliffhangers, but um, that's for a whole, that, that discussion is for a whole other time anyway. So anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. There is that subscribe button down there somewhere. Uh, if you're interested anyway in subscribing because everyone seems to watch these unboxings or my other, the other content anyway on my channel. It just seems like, ah, the hell, I ain't subscribing to this channel. This channel's boring. But if you do subscribe, thank you. I really appreciate it. It also helps the channel progress and go more further in some ways. Um, besides that, yeah, don't forget to hit the like button too. Uh, just, just because it's very appreciated as well. <laughs> Anyways, this is Rayuka here saying until next time, everyone, thanks for watching and sign off.